Good day everyone and welcome back to another beautiful video on our channel. In the last video, you guys would have watched the oldest building, the Roundhouse in Western Australia. If anyone didn't watch that video, you can watch that from the link given below in the description section. I have told you that there is a shipwrecks museum closer to the Roundhouse and in this video, we are going to explore the shipwrecks museum of Western Australia. If you are watching this channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe to watch more videos like this and without any further delay, let's get into this video. After 10 minutes of walk from the roundhouse, I found the Shipwrecks Museum of Western Australia. It is located in a coastal town called Fremantle in Western Australia. At the entrance, there were a few anchors and chains used in the big ships were kept. The museum building looked old and vintage and I went inside to have a look. There was no entrance ticket and it was totally free guys. At the entrance there was a gift shop and there were books about the ships and ship journeys, memorial gifts and other typical gifts as in most of the gift shops in Australia. Just at the end of the gift shop there were some bells recovered from some of the ships were kept. There was a bell displayed there which was recovered from a ship called Ulidia. It was a 91 meter long ship built in Scotland and registered in Ireland. It wrecked and sunk in Western Australian Sea in 1883 and the bell was recovered from that ship. Sweet Dope Anchor was the largest anchor recovered in Western Australian Sea from a ship sunk in 1988. It looked very old, rusted and a significant piece of collection. In one of the cabinets there was a bell, deck light and a starboard navigation light kept which were rescued from an old ship. The next thing I saw in that museum was an aluminium water tank called as PB Wi-Fi Catalina Wi-Fi 9 which was used in a ship to store water for the passengers. There were also some war weapons used in a ship displayed there. Among them I saw a broken revolver as well. Finishing the front section, I went to the next section. In the next section, there were some seashells and corals that were collected from the Western Australian coastline. There were also some herbs and spices collected from different parts of the world kept there. Most of them were from Asia and they were named as Asiatic products. I found some spices like pepper, cloves, cinnamon, tea, coffee and etc. Coming past them, I saw a replica model of a ship called as Dirk Hartox. It was mentioned that ship was built in 1614 in Amsterdam, Netherlands and started its journey from 1615. It was the largest at that time and it was designed to carry 200 people and 32 cannon guns on it. There were also a drawing which portrayed how ships were travelled through Indian Ocean and reached Australia during 17th century. The ship which was used in the first ever wrecked ship in Australia was rescued safely and kept in that museum. 
there were also some tools equipment and weapons used by some of the ships were displayed in that section coming past them i found a different kind of device called as sound leads they were used in the ships in the past to perform nautical survey and mapping they were tied onto a rope and lowered up to the seabed to measure the depth and the type of the seabed from them the voyagers used to find more information there was also a sand glass used in one of the wrecked ships to find time was displayed there a model of a Duifken model Dutch ship built in 1606 traveled to Australia was also there. A broken sword rescued from one of the wrecked ships was there and it is believed that it was made in 17th century. There were also some rescued books and writings from some ships kept in that museum. During the 16th, 17th centuries, Dutch army had a big fleet and they conquered all around the world. The weapons and dresses used by them were also presented there. There were body armor, spears, swords and knives used by them displayed in a cabinet. Finishing them, I moved on to the next section. In the next section, there were a lot of photos and videos displayed about how they discovered and rescued wrecked ships and their parts from the bottom of the sea. Some old wrecked ship parts were also kept there. There was an engine called Sando engine which is 100 years old kept there. It was rescued from a sunk ship and still working fine. A small replica model of that engine was kept aside and we could see how that original engine was working before. At the entrance of the next part of the museum, I saw a model of the Roebuck ship. It was made of timber and the ship, anchors, cannons, small boats, everything was crafted very beautifully and that was a fantastic artwork done by an Australian artist called Cliff Gordon. Next were some of the camera types used in the old ships. There were few different models displayed there. One of the big cannons used on an old ship was also kept in that section. It was very old, rusted and damaged. HMS Success is the name of the ship on which the first governor of Western Australia, Captain Sterling, came to Australia in 1827. There were some photos and information about the HMS Success ship which carried him. Batavia Viewing Deck was the next place I visited in that museum. Batavia was a ship of the Dutch East India Company which wrecked in Western Australian coast in 1629. The bottom part of that wrecked ship was rescued and kept in that section. There was a boat which carried the information about each part of the stern of that ship.
there were a lot of Dutch ships came and wrecked in Western Australia. There was a separate section called Dutch Wreck Gallery in that museum with the materials collected from those ships. When I went inside, the first thing I saw was some damaged bottle, vessels, containers used in the wrecked ships. There was also a trumpet played by someone travelled in one of those ships. After that, there was a big cannon and a broken canister which was used to store gunpowder in a ship. Inside that gallery, there was a massive collection of the vessels, beakers, glasses, jugs and bottles made of silver, brass, clay, glass and other kind of materials. They all were very rare collection and well secured in that museum as antiques. The Batavia ship was carrying a special consignment of silver goods destined for India. When it was wrecked in 1629, the goods were scattered into the sea and they were collected and kept in that museum. With those collections, there were also a lot of silver and brass coins used by the people who travelled in the ship were kept in a cabinet. During the past, the voyagers smoked tobacco pipes and there was a collection of different types and sizes of those pipes discovered from the ships kept inside a cupboard. In the past, a lot of European travellers travelled for herbs and spices. Some of the herbs and spices they collected from Asian countries sung with their ships in Australian sea. There were a sample of collection of them kept in that place. That's it guys, that was the end of the tour around this beautiful and historical museum. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. I will catch you all in another beautiful video. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.